If you're in the market for a cheap set of combination wrenches, chances are Tecton is a brand that you have seen quite a bit. I know when we were doing research on wrenches, Tecton was a brand that we saw a lot on different websites like Reddit r slash tools, different tool Facebook groups, as well as Garage Journal. A lot of people were saying that Tecton was kind of the new mid-tier USA Craftsman that we used to have back in the day. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the Tecton because we put it through our test against all these other different brands of wrenches. And to our surprise, the Tecton really didn't perform that well. And we were not very impressed with the performance to price ratio. Spoiler alert, if you guys want to watch that video, it's about 27 minutes long. And we test all of these wrenches in attempt to shear the head off of a grade 5 bolt using a cheater bar on the open end of each one of these wrenches. To save you guys watching the entire video, the Chinese Craftsman way out of left field, the wrench that we would have least expected to do well in these tests, was actually the only wrench that was able to shear off the head of a grade five bolt using the open end. So very, very surprising. And then we had surprising results from wrenches like the Tecton, which in our results, really rounded out the fastener very quickly. And we really didn't put a whole lot of pressure on the wrench. Now, granted, we were using a cheater bar, but what I will tell you is I was the one turning that cheater bar and with the Tecton, it took very little effort to round out the fastener, whereas the Craftsman and even the Husky wrench here, I was putting quite a bit of muscle and weight into it to get it to round out the fastener and the Craftsman actually did shear the head. So that one took quite a bit of force as well. So I was a bit underwhelmed by the Tecton. Aside from performance, the Tecton is still a good looking wrench. It has decent chrome on it. Um, as you can see, it already is scratched up pretty good. So it's not very resilient. I do see a little bit of a nick right there on the wrench itself, on the open end, as you can see. Um, I'm not really exactly sure when that occurred, but these wrenches really do not have a lot of use. All of these were basically used in a test and attempted to shear off the head of a bolt about three times. So this usage you're seeing here is pretty premature and uh, likely will get worse over time. But the Tecton is a good looking wrench. From a design standpoint, I really thought the Tecton would do better in our test being that the open end of the wrench has a little bit of that crab claw design that goes on. If you're not familiar, let's take a look at two different wrenches here. When we talk about the crab claw, as you can see, this is a husky wrench and it has a uh, what we call a severe case of crab claw. And as you can see, it's very, very thick around this section. It kind of looks like a crab claw. And they do this to try to strengthen the open end of the wrench so that it doesn't flex. It adds a little bit of strength here. As you can see, the Tecton sort of has that same design going on. It's rather thick right here to try to give it a little extra strength. And then if we look at a wrench like the gear wrench, as you can see, this one is incredibly thin, can get into really tight places. Generally speaking, we like thinner wrenches better because they get into tighter areas. You would have a hard time getting into certain areas with the Husky, whereas the gear wrench is really nice and thin. So the Tecton is kind of somewhere in the middle between these two. The, the gear wrench is the thinnest one that we tested and the Husky was the thickest. So with the gear or with the Tecton being pretty thick, I figured, man, it's probably gonna have a good amount of strength. But unfortunately I was wrong and it really didn't hold up all that well. So my final thoughts on the Tecton combination wrenches are they're nothing great. In fact, I really think that the Chinese Craftsman beats the Tecton in just about every category except for looks. The Chinese Craftsman is, is a bit thinner around the open end of the wrench. If you guys take a look, look how much smaller the Chinese Craftsman is compared to the Tecton, right? You could get that in a lot smaller areas and it had more strength. Um, lengthwise, the Craftsman is just a tad bit shorter, um, but the Tecton definitely looks better with that full polish. I am convinced that there's something about the Craftsman not being a full polish that makes it a stronger wrench. However, that's just a hypothesis. I have no data to back that up. But overall, I'm just kind of underwhelmed by the Tecton. Do I think it's a bad buy? No, not necessarily, but I think you would be better getting the Craftsman based off our performance tests. Um, I think the Tecton is just a really good looking wrench, but it doesn't have that great of performance. So I will put links to all of these wrenches in the video description if you guys are interested. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you guys have any experiences that's different than what I have experienced with these wrenches, please post them in the comments below and I'd love to hear your guys' feedback. Until then, I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to subscribe if you guys would like to see more tool reviews and we'll see you guys in the next video.